Okay guys, here's a board problem 22. Uh, so it says for each scatter plot, how does the outlier affect the correlation? Remember the correlation, um, uh, the stronger uh, your line is, um, uh, the more your correlation increases to one. So here I have uh, an outlier up here in the top left of, of part A and in part B it's up in the top right right here. So um, uh, actually the answers are right there. Um, can you guys see that uh, uh, the outlier in A, uh, it decreases it because it doesn't, it's away from the line, so if it, it's not lined up with that. In fact, and then on B, it's pretty linear, it just lined right up with that right there. So um, I just, I did one slide too many at the beginning, so I gave you the answer, but there it is right there. So A is uh, the outlier decreases the correlation, and B is it increases the correlation because it, it makes it stronger, makes it more of a linear thing on B. Okay, all right, so here we go. Uh, section 4.3-1. This is on marginal distributions and describing relationships. So we're going to describe uh, percentages of, of pieces of a graph right here. So we're going to build a table right here, you guys. So, um, and it's talking about uh, the education and age, and I'm going to use this as an example. So you're going to have to pause this video to copy down this chart. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through fast here, you guys. Uh, years in school completed by age group in thousands, uh, age group from uh, 25 to 34, 35 to 54, and 55 and older, and their education level. So here we go. Uh, here's the ones who did not complete high school. Now notice this is in thousands, you guys. So all these numbers have three zeros after that. So that first number that's 4,474, that's actually 4,474,000. So so then you got the 9 million and the 14 million and the 27 million, 853,000, okay? And then uh, completed high school uh, and then and the, all the age groups right there, one to three years of college and then four or more years of college. And notice over there, that right column over there is all the totals right there. So um, I'm going to put the totals down the bottom row down there also. So we got all kinds of totals happening right there. So uh, I just moved that chart up right there. So here we go. Uh, we're going to calculate uh, um, the percentages. Okay, now there's a, a, some discrepancies in this chart and the actual data. For example, um, and you don't have to write the blue stuff down, but for example, the, uh, the sum of 35 to 54 is actually 81,437,000, but the chart comes up to 81,435,000. When you're talking in millions, you guys, and they're rounding in thousands, you're going to have this thing called round off error. So, uh, that's, that's what's happening with the different discrepancies of numbers. Okay, so uh, let's calculate each percentage. All right, so the first one I want to calculate, uh, the people that are 25 or older, so all the way across of the 25 or older, all the way up to 55 and plus, who have four more years of college. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm talking about uh, the percentage of this. So I want, I'm looking at, let's see, what do I have? I have red. I'm looking at this number right here. Uh, four or more years of college, there's the total, and we're going to divide it by the total right there. Okay, makes sense? All right, so uh, when you take top divided by bottom and then move the decimal over two places, you get 22.6%. Okay, easy enough? All right, so uh, number two, people 25 or older, again, way over to that right-hand column, who did not finish high school. So did not finish high school is that 27 million. 853,000, again, divided by the total down to bottom is 15.9%. Okay, and then we're going to do this for the 25 or older who completed high school, and you get a little over 33%. And finally, uh, 25 or older, and you're going to get, now remember, you're probably going to be pausing a lot through this video to get all this information written down, so you get 25.4%. Okay, all right, so... Um, now this says get the total percentages, all of them in section B. Okay, now you're just adding up though all those numbers and in, in all the way across right there. It should add up to a hundred percent because it's everyone that we're talking about in that column way over there on the far right side. All right, so we're going to make a bar graph of that data. Okay, you guys all know how to make bar graphs. Make sure you label everything correctly right there. So um, the no high school um, uh, that was. Uh, uh, about the 16% right there, and then the high school only was at uh, uh, that 33%, and then uh, some high school or some college, I'm sorry, 
was that 25%, 25.4%, and then finally the four or more years of high school was at that 25.6, okay? Don't forget to, when you always make bar graphs, you use nice straight edges and all of that. Don't forget uh, the total, or I'm sorry, the title, what you're talking about, and just the labeling, you guys. I want to see everything being labeled on that, okay? And then, of course, that stuff too, and your nice, beautiful straight edges, okay? All right. All right. Uh, okay, let's do uh, section E. So, counts are often hard to compare. For example, 11,066,000 uh, people age 25 to 34 completed high school. Uh, while only 10,596,000 people who completed uh, that were 55 and above. Well, the, the age groups are, are larger intervals in the 55 and above because you're talking about, you know, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the, my mom's in her 70s, the 80s, you know, and there's probably people in there that are in their 90s and maybe above. So it's, you can't compare those because they don't have the same um, uh, intervals that you're, you're comparing. All right, so... Uh, so here we go. Um, the age groups um, uh, find. Sorry, you guys, I clicked a little too fast. Find the percentage of each age group that has completed four years of college. Okay, so four years of college. Um, you're going to go over there, uh, uh, the 25 to uh, 54, and you're going to scroll down. Four years of college. I see the 11 million, and then of course their total for just the, that age group is that 37 million. Okay, so for the 35 to 54, you guys, you're going to go down and you have that column, and you're going to see they hit about 23 million, and then I think it was the 81. Yeah, and I kind of ran out of room, so I put it way down there. Okay, and the 55 or older was at 10 million, almost 11 million, and the 56 was their total right there. Okay, all right, so there you go, you guys. Uh, that wraps that up, and uh, I'll see you in the, in the next video or see you in class.